Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Welcome to this week's edition of Timbers 360. I'm your host, Jake Sivan. We've got a full episode for you today. Let's get right into it. Coming up on Timbers 360, we take a look back at Portland's visit to Cascadia rival Vancouver. Get to know Felipe Pipe Mora. We catch up with the Timbers Academy at the Generation Adidas Cup. We take a look back at the Special Olympics Fall Games that took place at Providence Park last fall. And we get ready for this weekend's match against Sporting Kansas City. The Timbers squared away with Vancouver last weekend. They found themselves down 2-0 going into halftime. But then they came back in the 52nd minute. Christian Paredes carried the ball into the center before playing it to Evander at the top of the 18. Evander took just one touch and scored a sensational goal to cut the lead in half. It was Evander's second goal of the season. It was 2-1. Paredes back and forth. Paredes doubles it through for Moreno. Smashes it into the upper corner, and Portland has cut the deficit in half. Then in the 77th minute, Evander played provider, serving across to the back post, where Felipe Mora finished it with a diving header. Mora's first goal of the season, Evander's second assist, and it's level 2 2. And in, and it scores! A ball delivered in, and a diving header. But in the 87th minute, Vancouver had a chance blocked by Maxime Crapo. The loose ball tapped in by Ryan Raposo. That was the game winner. Vancouver wins 3-2. to two. You mentioned that the team came out more determined in the second half. What was the message from uh, Coach Phil Neville at halftime and what kind of impact do you think that had on the group? Eh, no, el mensaje fue, fue claro que, que siguiéramos intentando, que, que tuviéramos confianza en, en nosotros mismos. Eh, eh, por ahí en el primer tiempo, en los últimos minutos, se dio un equipo más, más sólido, un equipo que, que quería ir al frente y creo que, que ese fue el mensaje, que lo, que lo siguiéramos intentando y que los goles iban a llegar. After his goal and assist this past weekend, Evander was named to MLS's Team of the Match Day bench. Into the upper corner, and Portland has cut the deficit in half. Did he ever beautifully take a goal from Evander that he could get this type of power? Miller, Evander, two over to press Evander. Evander spins away from it. Will put it into the middle for Mora, and it's a beautifully worked goal from the Timbers. And they've come all the way back in the 78th minute. Evander with a goal and an assist. I mean, puts it right into the area that's most dangerous for the Whitecaps. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Felipe Mora will forever be remembered in Soccer City, USA for providing one of the most iconic moments in Portland Timbers history. He's now starting his fourth season with the club. Mora has tallied 26 goals and nine assists. Get to know Felipe Mora. Bueno, mi nombre es Felipe Mora y juego de centro delantero en Portland Chile. O sea, siempre me inculcaron mi papá de de ir al estadio y, y ver fútbol. Y también cuando uno es chico sigue los pasos de, como de los más grandes y, y a, mí, a mi papá le gustaba ver. Y así fue como, como también me empezó a gustar ir al estadio también y, y ver los partidos y soñar con algún día ser jugador profesional. En mis expectativas cuando vine acá a Portland sabía que, que Portland era un, un equipo competitivo, un equipo que, que siempre está peleando los los torneos, eh, entonces estuve buscando todo eso antes de venir acá y era un club que, que me venía bien porque a mí también me gusta, me gusta competir, me gusta pelear por, 
por cosas importantes y, y creo que a lo largo de los, de los años que he estado aquí en el club hemos hecho eso. Eh, me sentía muy bien eh, y fue un año muy difícil para mí, un año muy difícil para, para mi familia porque nunca, nunca había tenido una lesión tan grave y tuve dos operaciones en un año y la segunda que me hice fue una operación ya mucho más, más grande, pero creo que me hizo, me hizo más fuerte, me hizo una persona más, una persona más madura en cuanto a pasar a adversidades que, que a veces se nos presentan a los futbolistas. Entonces, eh, el apoyo de mi familia fue fundamental, el apoyo de mis compañeros, del staff médico, del club en general. Eh, gracias a Dios ya estoy eh, mucho mejor, estoy... Eh, volviendo a, a jugar, volviendo a encontrarme conmigo mismo y estoy hasta el día de hoy también trabajando con, con apoyo psicológico porque creo que, que es muy importante, eh, nunca lo había experimentado y, y, y me ha ayudado muchísimo. Espero volver a ser el, el, el Felipe que, que era antes, así que estoy trabajando muy duro y espero eh, hacer muchos goles. At the end of this game, I want us to walk off this field having given everything we have, everything in us. Give everything for our coach. This man has sacrificed everything for us to be here and all of our coaches here. Give everything to your family, to this badge that has given us the opportunity. You must have really your brothers and to yourself. No, we deserve this. Now we need to prove it. Let's go, boys! Let's go! 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 What's going on Timbers fam? Jeff Batanella checking in from Bradenton, Florida where the Timbers 15s and 17s both just wrapped up group play. The 15s finished with a win in penalties while the 17s unfortunately after a hard fought game just missed advancing out of group stage. A game that saw another goal from Max Eisenberg and Eric Izoda getting two assists. Ultimately the 17s fell a little bit short in penalty kicks which left them one point short out of advancing out of group play. The 17s and the 15s will both still play in the Constellation matches here in Bradenton, Florida which gets some meaningful experience and the opportunity to still play against some of the best clubs in the world. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. Providence Park was the host of the 2023 Special Olympics Fall State Games. Let's take a look back. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Special Olympics Fall State Games opening ceremonies presented by our friends at Providence. This weekend's competitions are the culmination of many hours, days, weeks, months, and years of hard work and training by our athletes. We will announce each local program and unified champion school. Delegations, feel free to stand up, make some noise, wave your signs, have fun, be safe this weekend, and let the games begin. Hi there, my name is Mark Henkin. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Special Olympics Oregon. And we are here at Providence Park in Portland, Oregon for our 2023 Special Olympics Oregon Fall State Games presented by Providence. It's our annual state championships that we get to partner with the Portland Timbers and Thorns FC to use this amazing pitch. So today at our opening ceremonies, we celebrated not only our athletes who are competing in soccer, but we also have volleyball in Beaverton today. And during that, we were able to introduce for the first time an academy style team for our Soar Timbers, who tried out last month, earned a spot on the team, and were introduced in front of thousands of people today at Providence Park for our opening ceremonies. They will train and compete against other MLS unified teams in 2024. So our unified team members are part of a specific age group between age 15 and 24. 
We worked with high school programs and our community-based local programs to identify Special Olympics athletes, individuals with intellectual disabilities, and unified partners, individuals without intellectual disabilities, who had what we felt was the makeup of a great teammate, somebody who was inclusive, had the right soccer skills, and were committed and dedicated to this style of soccer training outside of their school teams, club teams, and other activities. We were able to select a team that will field 11 aside soccer competitions in 2024. We're really appreciative of the decade plus partnership we've had with Special Olympics and the Portland Timbers and Thorns through Stand Together initiatives. Since then, MLS has invited athletes and unified partners from all their markets to represent at a unified exchange match involved at the MLS All-Star Experience. Overall, we're just really proud to be a part of Soccer City USA and we think that there's no better place to host an event like our Fall State Games than a sunny November day for Providence Park and our friends and families, athletes and partners. We wish them the best of luck. Thank you, Timbers. Thank you to the Thorns. Really love the partnership we have with you. Coming up next on Timbers 360, presented by Toyota, we get ready for this weekend with the matchup. It's back on the road this weekend for the Portland Timbers for the second in a stretch of five of six matches away from Providence Park. The Timbers will try to get back to winning ways after suffering a difficult result over the weekend. Portland went down 2-0 within a half hour away at Vancouver, but came back in the second half to level the match with goals from Evander and Felipe Mora. But a late winner from the Whitecaps met the Timbers will now have to look to bounce back this weekend in Kansas City. Portland will face Sporting Kansas City on Sunday. It's an early start out here on the West Coast, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. SKC has two wins, a loss, and three draws so far this season. Nine points puts them in sixth place in the Western Conference, two spots ahead of the eighth place Timbers. Sunday's match will be at Kansas City's normal home of Children's Mercy Park. It's the Portland Timbers and Sporting Kansas City, a Sunday matinee, 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. You can watch the match for free on the Apple TV app or tv.apple.com or on the Fox network. Tanner Ridge is amazing. Uh, it is a full experience. Not only do you get the benefits of the soccer, but you get to enjoy the food and beverage, the hospitality, and the ability to meet up with friends and really get the full experience. Uh, we'll start off at one of the local breweries or pubs or tap rooms here, like most fans. And then we head on in at least a half hour before the game because we want to enjoy all the um, amenities that are provided by Tanner Ridge and the Timbers organization. And then we go and we sit down and find our seats and and just hang out with the fans that are here enjoying the game as much as we are. Timbers 360 is presented by Toyota. PTFC Authentics is your one-stop shop for all your Timbers gear. Shop online at ptfcauthentics.com or visit the store. I think we've got 
got so much talent, so much ability. I think we're scoring goals, we look dynamic. Uh, and I think if we sort the other bit out, I think we can be a real competitive team. And uh, six games into the season, and there's been probably patterns in every single game. Even the games that we've won, there's been a few patterns. And, uh, and we need to cut that, cut that out and cut that out fast because I think when you're on the road, it, get, it gets exposed in this league. We want to be a team that's really hard to beat, whether we're high pressing, mid pressing or low blocking. I think that's the key is that we don't, we want to be the hardest team to beat. And that comes with a mentality. And I just think in the last two games, we've been really soft in our mentality. And that's doing the, the basics really well. If you don't do the basics well in life, in anything that you're doing, you're not going to compete. You're not going to compete. You're not going to do it well. And I think, uh, I think that's the main thing we're going to be focusing on uh, from now on.